Hey everyone, my name is Amanda and I go by Miss A Web on all platforms, which will be linked down below. And I'm a part-time reseller, so on this channel you'll find everything dealing with reselling from what's old videos to hauls to unboxings, as well as some tips and tricks along the way. So if all that sounds good to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and enjoy the video. So in today's video, we are going to do a liquidation unboxing. So I did several of these about the same time last year and was very successful in the items that I received in those boxes. I will link a playlist above for you guys so you can go and check those out. So for anyone who might know, liquidation is when you order, you know, boxes or pallets from a company that has either, you know, have some kind of partnership with a um, department store or brand and they kind of buy it in bulk and, you know, in massive quantities and then sell it to resellers um, in smaller quantities. I have um, tried out several different liquidation companies. Um, for this in particular box, I have tried this company before and had great success. Just to start, I want to go ahead and say, um, cause I've had some comments on the last videos that I did a kind of unboxings of liquidation is people asking me where I get my liquidation. I'm not going to share that information. You don't want a ton of other resellers knowing of this great source because they're going to have less and less good items or sell out of boxes or pallets faster. So, I mean, it's just good business sense. Um, so if that's not, if you're only here to learn where I got this um, liquidation, you might as well skip this video because I am not gonna be sharing it. Um, you know, if you're mad about that, I'm sorry. You know, feel free to check out my other videos or, you know, otherwise just not watch this one. I feel very rambly, but um, if you have followed me for a while, you know that I just recently had a baby. So I am a new mom and first time mom. So maybe only time mom, <laughs> just FYI. But um, she's actually a really good baby. It's just, you know, it's time consuming. It's like not even time consuming. It is all consuming. It takes like everything, you know. Um, I have like bags. These are, these are new mom bags because, you know, I've really never suffered from, you know, bags under my eyes. Well, being a new mom will do that to you. Anyway. Um, back to the video. So yes, this is a liquidation order. I'm just going to unbox it just as a fun video. I mean, I like watching liquidation unboxings, even if the seller doesn't tell you where you get the box. I don't know. I just like surprises, even if it's other people's surprises. So whatever. I'm going to unbox it. Um, and you guys can see, so we can all see, um, what I got. So, um, this was a women's coat lot so there will be hopefully 50 coats um i think they should all be new with tags pretty sure um cannot really remember <laughs> but i'm pretty sure they're all new with tags and let's just go ahead and see what i got so i think liquidation itself is particularly good during this time of year um you know christmas time which is when i'm filming this um, it's very end of december we just had thanksgiving um, don't want this video to go up, but you know, around Christmas time, because people generally are not buying a lot of used clothing items. They want to buy new stuff that they can give as gifts. So it's a good time if you are going to buy liquidation to try it, especially if you're going to get a new tags box. Um, cautionary, you know, trying different companies, you know, maybe try some of their boxes instead of their pallets to be aware because pallets are a huge investment. Um, just make sure that you are, you know, you have this money from your business to invest in liquidation, I wouldn't, you know, like, you know, max out a credit card for it because this is not a good thing to do. So make sure you have the money to start going into these kind of things. Okay, I will go ahead and say there are three boxes. I did already open this box and kind of take a little bit of a peek because it came three days ago. I haven't had time to build this video, you know, baby. Um, and I'm just curious, so I opened it. That is my dog, Teddy. You've been here for a while. Um, you know, she used to be a frequent visitor in my videos, but you know, she's not been in them lately. She's actually trapped in this room with me right now. <laughs> so that's why she's here and she's getting anxious. She kind of wants to leave, but the box is in front of the door. So she's stuck here until at least I go get another box. Okay. So first thing, um, I did see this one. It is, um, uh, kind of like a fleece style, um, zip up, not Patagonia or Patagucci as some people say. It is by Soul. I feel like I've seen this on another reseller's channel, particularly because I remember the um, what the, the logo. Oh yeah, here it is. Because it's um, a skull and bones. I can't remember 
what this person said. I'm hoping that they said it was good. Um, this is an extra large, which is really cool. Um, it retailed for $128. Um, so I'm thinking this will do really well just because of the style of jacket. Um, I'm not 100% familiar with this brand, but you know, retailed for a lot. Although that does not mean anything. Just because something retails for a lot doesn't mean it's gonna resell for a lot. Very good lesson for resellers who are starting out. <laughs> a hard lesson for me when I first started. <laughs> okay, next is Gallery. New York, it's a size large. Um, I don't know this one either. It is, so it's kind of got like a puffer collar. Kind of like a faux puffer under, it's not really. Um, it looks to be a trench or a pea coat. Can't really tell this um, length. It has a hood, which is cool. Um, anyway, it is new with tags as well. Where's the tag? I just lost it. Okay. And it retailed for $230. So maybe this is a good brand. I don't know. Um, life is a journey. Stay warm, keep dry. Let's get it nice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, you know, this is a really nice jacket. I'm appreciating the sizes, too, extra large, large. You know, the quick peek that I saw for this, um, I did like the item, so I'm pretty glad about that. Um, and in case it's not obvious, I got a coat lot because it's winter time. Also, I got a, lot, a coat lot from them um, last year that ended up being, like, probably the best thing I did, and it wasn't even like name brand coats. It was just a plus size lot of coats and I flew off. I mean, flew off. Okay, so everything fell down. <laughs> so if the angle just changed, uh, the reason is because my camera fell down. <laughs> but anyway, next is um, BP. It is a Nordstrom house brand, I'm pretty sure. Um, this retailed for $70. Um, not mad about this because, you know, Whereas, you know, I don't really like getting a lot of house brands um, from Nordstrom. This is really nice. It's like a corduroy puffer, cropped, so kind of pretty in style. And it's an extra large as well. I'm assuming I did get new tags because everything so far is new tags. Okay, this looks cool. Oh, I remember this. I did see this. This is one of the ones I looked at when I was poking around. Um, uh, the only thing about it is it is a petite. So, Top Shop Petite size eight, but it's like this fuzzy, um, not fuzzy, kind of like mohair, probably not real mohair though, um, peacoat and this golden mustard color, um, it is new with tags, and it was retail for $150, so that's cool, um, I'm giving all this importance to how much it retailed, but you know, like I said, it doesn't really matter, I don't know why I'm excited. I mean, I think this will do well because it's top shot. People know it and it looks really cool and it's a nice style. Oh, it's 100% wool. That is incorrect. I read that wrong. It is 12% wool. <laughs> Whoops. 88% <laughs> polyester. I didn't think so because as popular as top shop can be, they don't to particularly have the best material sometimes. Anyway, going through. All right, looks like we have a blazer. Oh, I've never found this brand before. Reformation. You know, um, people are really excited when they find their jeans. It is just kind of an oversized blazer. Um, it is new with tag. It is a size small. So that's cool. Um, yeah, liking that. Okay, next. Oops, oops. that one won't come out. So this will be next. This is something. Oh, Healy Hansen, or H Haley Hansen, Healy Hansen? I don't know. I've never heard of that brand. Size so small. It's a waterproof, and it is, what would you, kind of jack, what would you call this? Does it say? <laughs> it is a parka. Yes, parka. It is a black parka. I knew that. I knew that's what the term was. So it's hooded, you know, waterproof. Looks like it's like a outdoorsy um, style company. Oh, it's nice that it has all this. Uh, so retail for $225. Ooh, this is nice actually. Um, so Healy Tech, I guess that's a thing with the company. I'm not an outdoorsy person, obviously. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's cool. 
Um, the jackets that I got from the other lot that did the best were um, ski jackets. So outdoorsy jackets can do really well. Another black jacket. Oh, this is another one of those gallery, gallery, gallery jackets in a size medium. So same exact jacket um, with the like faux puffer and zips and buttons. So all kinds of stuff. Pretty cool. A lot of black stuff. Not really my favorite, but that's okay. All right. Got a, I'm assuming faux leather. Oh, it's made well. Cool. Cool. Size medium. Retail for $200. Is it real leather? Tis real leather. Lamb's leather. That's why it feels different because I don't, you know, feel that often. <laughs> okay. So a real leather jacket by Maywell. That's nice. Um, kind of got a, a, a moto style to it a little bit. Yeah. With the asymmetrical, asymmetrical zip. So I'm excited about that. That's awesome. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah. Pretty happy about this. Okay, this is a gray, what looks like a trench coat. Um, yeah, very sophisticated. Oh, because Lauren, Ralph Lauren, size medium. Um, hey, you know, whoa, hundred and ninety dollar. You know, she profesh. She's got to have a nice coat. Look at that. We're getting all kinds of styles. We're getting like the hip coats, the, you know, the more career wear. Cool. All right. All right, so this is another... Nordstrom house brand, um, treasure and bound, um, which I cannot do pretty decently with. This was $99. I mean, and it is really cute. It's like a plaid blazer. So I think that'll do well. Oh, clueless. That's what I'm getting. Clueless. Yes. That's, that's exactly what I'm picturing. Okay. So this has to be faux leather. Yes. Yes. It's top chalk. So I'm assuming, like I said, they don't have the right materials. So I'm assuming faux leather, but I'll check it out um, with this faux fur collar and sleeve. Oh, in him as well. Definitely um, cool. It's a size two flammable, so I'm assuming not leather. <laughs> it is polyester. <laughs> Figure. Um, anyway, but still a cool style. New with tags. Ooh, something fluffy. Oh, okay. Scared me a little bit. I don't know what I thought it was. Oh, Sam Edelman. Okay, it's a Sam Edelman puffer with this nice skunk-like collar. <laughs> anyway, retail for $99. It's pretty cool. Um, anytime I've, you know, when I first started reselling, I did pick up a Sam Edelman skirt, which I think I still have in a bag, you know, and I think I still have that too. <laughs> so I don't think anything non to Sam Edelman does that well for me, but we'll see. I mean, it is new with tags and a cute, you know, style, so hopefully that breaks the curse. I've never found this brand before. I'm sorry, I had to register that this was actually what it is. It is Good American. Um, you know, their jeans do really well. Is this the Chloe Kardashian line? Yes. Anyway, it is a blazer. Um, cute. It's a very cute blazer. Um, sweet. I mean, this is really cool. $259. You crazy. You crazy. No. I would never. No. Sorry. <laughs> this is size three, though. Um, do they have vanity? Not vanity. I hate calling it vanity sizing. You know, and maybe just people don't want to be called large and extra large. But anyway. Um, do they have their own type of their own can you call it another than vanity sizing? Do they have their brand sizing? There we go. Is that the right term or did I just make that up? I don't know. Um, anyway, size three. Not sure if that's a, it's gotta be brand. Nothing's a size three. Anyway, that's cool. Good one. Is this another gallery coat? Well, I guess that's, these are going to be easy to lose. Um, yeah. So a size large, so I have a large, extra large and medium. So here's something that might go against what people tell you on here. I know a lot of people when they have uh, multiple um, sizes of one item, they tell you, oh, this is great because you can just do a multiple quantity listing. I don't do that. I list them individually. I mean, like I just because it gives you it makes Poshmark think you're listing more. You have a larger closet. And also, get, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you look for something 
um, in a size. It'll pull up stuff that's actually sold out in your size because it's got some in the other size, which can be complicated if you just followed what I, followed what I said. Um, so yeah, so it'll pull up, but it's not really your size. Yeah. But anyway, so I probably will be listing these separately, not as multiple quantities, but it'll be pretty easy because it's just like a copy and paste listing and changing the size. Okay. I think this is the same CP jacket, but in a different colorway. Um, I really like this one, but it's a size small. You know, it's, these are cute. Even if they are, you know, Nordstrom house brands, at least they're cute. Nordstrom house brands. Ooh, this is very colorful. It's very bright. Barbara. This is Halogen, which is Halogen Nordstrom house brand? I think so. Um, but anyway, it is a 1X, so that's cool. Um, and it is, retail for $99. It's the Red Bittersweet Jacket. Uh, just a little blazer. It must be cute for the spring, so if I don't get it less listed um, this month, it still should do okay. Okay, last coat in this box. I do not know this brand. It's a cool looking tag though. Um, black gold zipper, which is cool. That makes me think it might be worth money. Um, anyway, just a black zip up jacket, size small, no nationality. Did you see the tag? No nationality, have I shown tags? I think I showed some of them. I'm sorry if I didn't show all of them. Yeah, no nationality in, in, dot zero. Holy bonkers. Bonkers. $550 retail. Nah. Listen to this. Great clothes are just like good people. They get better with time. We don't like thoughtless consumption and throwing things away. Oh, well, hell you go. That's why we always aim to create timeless pieces that transcend trends. Clothes that stand the test of time. Originals of tomorrow. This sounds like something you'd hear at Disney World. <laughs> Which I like, so that's fine. Um, yeah, this is crazy. Um, always nice when you get an unexpected, yeah, very expensive brand. What is in the, is there a pocket with stuff in it? Why is this heavy? And do you mean the condom in this? I know there wasn't a condom in the last one. <laughs> it was a tampon. Where is this? Is this the tag? What is making this noise? Why are there always like noise makers in my stuff? Oh, I found it. I found it. Oh, buttons. Okay. I didn't think there would be condoms in the fancy coat. Okay. Interest bra. That's probably Italian because this is fabrics made in Italy. Yeah, so Italian fabric. All right. Yeah, fancy. All right. Okay, so I think I've decided to go ahead and split this into two, possibly three videos. So that was video one. Um, if you guys liked what you saw, go ahead and that thumbs up button and subscribe if you want to see the rest of this unboxing. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.